recently at a press conference of the Mercedes-Benz Group, it was announced that they're delaying their target on the production of electric vehicles uh, by five years. Originally, they were planning to target 2025 as the year by which 50% of their output would be electric vehicle. At the press conference, it was announced this is pushed back five years. And this is due to the delays in the market development. This is what they say. Now, this is not just the only company that's delaying this. Others have done the same. Audi announced last year, the end of last year, they will do the same. And uh, Ford is uh, stopping their big plans for production facility, General Motors as well. All of a sudden, all of these major auto companies are announcing delays in reaching EV targets. What happened? Why did it all concentrate itself around now? I think what happened is that they all see China has basically become the lead producer and market for EV. And it's going to be very, very difficult for them to catch up, not only in terms of technology, but in terms of marketing and sales. So they will try to retain their advantages in terms of fossil fuel cars and uh, try to continue to battle it out uh, in the Chinese market with fossil fuel cars because they can't beat the Chinese manufacturers in electric vehicles. And then they would like the rest of the world to also delay the adaptation of electric vehicles and stick to more fossil fuel vehicles in which the Western producers have a distinct advantage given their long history of producing and developing these cars. And the government, of course, the Western government, particularly the United States and the EU, have now come up with all kinds of plans to sabotage China's export of electric vehicles. Now, no longer do they talk about free trade or fair market practice. Now, they're saying that U.S. is going to prohibit, in effect, the importation of Chinese-made electric vehicles, or even Chinese-made, but made in Mexico, or assembled in Mexico. So they will have restrictions on components. Components have to be made in the United States. So all of a sudden, on the fairness side, one can see how ridiculous it's gotten. Now, U.S. is restricting Chinese electric vehicles. Oh, forget about climate change. Forget about carbon emission. Forget about fossil fuel pollution. We got to block the Chinese electric vehicles. Now, Europeans are looking at doing the same thing on batteries, on electric vehicles from China. All of a sudden, the Green Party, those who got into their position because of their espousing green or climate issues, all of a sudden is now wanting to restrict Chinese electric vehicles. Now, again, this is, if we win, if we are on, on top, let's have free market. If we are at a distinct disadvantage, oh, oh, we have to restrict, we have to control, we have to prohibit, use heavy duty to block their entry into our market. Uh, protectionism becomes rampant. Forget about protection of the climate, protection of the earth. We just have to be on top. If we're not on top, forget about the rest of the world, forget about the earth. This is really absurd. But I don't think this will happen because the more they restrict competition, the more the advantages of the Chinese EV manufacturers will be even more advanced because you restrict competition. Your own automakers don't have to work very hard to enter into your protected market, but they will not be able to compete on a global basis. And this is what's going to happen in the near future. The electric vehicle market, I just don't see it fading away. EU and US can try and block Chinese EVs, but given the distinct advantages of EV, which now already 
has become well known to the masses of consumers in the world, I think just the global south alone uh, will pick up the slack and start importing uh, Chinese-made EVs. And this will really enhance further development of the EV market worldwide. As you all know, there are many developing countries which don't have oil and have to import oil and have to import processed oil in the form of gasoline or diesel. Now with electricity becoming widespread among the developing countries, electric systems, electric vehicles will gain just in terms of its cost-benefit ratio. It will be even more popular, more advanced in the developing countries in the global south. So I think the electric vehicle manufacturers of China should start looking at the global south more aggressively and start building networks there 